Harry Douglas is the obvious leader of the group. What do you see his role being like? Well, Harry's a very competitive person. Uh, he also is very smart, and he's been in this system, you know, in Atlanta with Coach Malarkey and Terry and, and myself. We're all there together. He knows this system inside and out. He can play any position. He not only knows the, the assignments, he knows the little tricks of the trade. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of really where he, uh, he excels, and he's a playmaker. He finds ways to make plays. Has he helped Tajay Sharp? Yeah, he has. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's, he sits right next to him in the meeting room. And he just kind of helps him learn how to be a pro and how to how to sit in meetings, what to look at in film, how to take notes, all those kind of things. He's been a big help for him. Is so, that Harry initiating that, or is that Tajay coming to Harry? How do well, you see it? Well, I actually I actually mentioned to Harry that uh, you know you need to help him, but I think by pit nature, I think Harry would have done it even if I hadn't said anything. Talk about Tajay and how he's he's climbed up this this ladder from from being drafted to being a starter. I mean, how how has he done that so quickly? And such at a rapid pace. Well, he's got the, a unique skill, skill set physically, but he also is a very, very grounded person. He's a very hard worker. He spends hours upon hours of extra time. He had some great coaching in college. His head coach was an NFL coach for many years, so he, you know, he had some good training. Yeah, have you seen? Because the college game has changed so much to spread it out. You know, there's play cards on the sideline and you're a wide receiver guy that affects the wide receivers have you seen the product change from college wide receivers coming in the league oh no doubt now one benefit that Tajay had was they were kind of more of a pro yeah. NFL style thing but the ones that are running the spread stuff where they look over uh, this is a whole new ball game <laughs> when they get here it's a complete change you know you can't look over and have somebody signal me what my assignment is and all that kind of stuff uh, you, it's, it's usually it seems like it's taking longer for guys to make the adjustment that are in those systems for their entire college career and you see guys like Odo Beckham Jr. and, and Amari Cooper and those guys come in and just immediately take over and become a starter and have an impact. Is there pressure on young rookie wide receivers to come in because of guys like that? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think they look at it in that respect. I think they always kind of, I know Tajay for sure, I don't think he's ever looked at those things. He looks at what's here, what he's competing with, what he thinks he can do, how he matches up when he plays against NFL corners and safeties like he is here. I, I don't know that he thinks that way. I think he's more of just what's straight in front of him.